Alright guys, so what we're going to talk about today is when you're working on your beautiful WordPress site and you are in the back end and perhaps you go to appearance and theme and you're like, hey, you know what, I want to add a new theme. And so you're looking for theme and you add a new theme and you install the theme and then all of a sudden, bam, you get 500 internal server errors. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, that could be scary. It actually happened to Ramiro. Boo, Ramiro. Um, and I'm going to talk about how to take care of a 500 internal server error. So, like I was saying, if you were searching themes and you're installing themes, please take note of the name of the theme that you're installing, right? So you want to know that because if you installed a bad theme and it gave you a 500 error, then we have to go in through the back end to, to get rid of your theme because there's nothing you can be able to do here. This also happens when you are adding new plugins, right? So say you're in plugins and you're like, hmm, let's look for a different plugin. And say you found a plugin and you install that plugin. And it says, do you want to install the plugin? You say yes. And then all of a sudden, bam, 500 internal server error. Dun, dun, dun. What do you do? This really, really sucks. So I'm going to tell you how to take care of it. We need to go to the backend. We need to access server using an FTP client. What is the FTP client that we use? Anybody? 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 We use Dreamweaver. Woohoo! So we're going to use Dreamweaver to access the back end of uh, the server. Now, you all have your FTP information. Remember this piece of information that I gave you right here? You should have it. Um, so this up here tells you how to access your WordPress. Okay? This down here tells you how to access the server using the FTP address. So if you have a 500 internal error, you need this information down here. So we can take that information. We're going to go to the Open Dreamweaver. We're going to go to Site, um, Manage Site, New Site. You need to indicate your folder, but you're not going to be downloading anything, so it doesn't matter. Then we're going to go to servers and we're going to add the server. And click your um, site address. Your username. Your password. Remember, the passwords are to and secure. the remote team is just as I like to do. We can go ahead and connect to the remote server. Once we connect to the remote server, we see the HTTP box. This is under the hood of your website. Remember this? Now, if the box is the website that we did in Web2, so we want to go into the WordPress website. We can go into the WordPress website and expand it. And this is the WordPress site. This is the back end. So, FTP. We're looking at the actual files that make up the WordPress site. 
So we're going to go into Seventeen Content, and this is where we need to find that plugin or the team that crashed our WordPress site. So you can open up the plugin, and here you'll see a folder with the name of your team down here, and um, with the name of the different teams that you've installed. Okay? So if you install the same team, one of you really want, you're going to go ahead and hit select that plugin. I'm sorry, it's kind of a plugin. And you right click it or control click it. And then you're going to press delete. And that will take care of um, the plugin that caused the internal error. So if you need to get the theme, you can open up the theme, find the theme that created. That's why it's very important to keep track of plugins that you are inclined. Because if you don't remember, then you're not going to be able to remember which one to delete. So you're going to click clean. And then you're going to go to edit, delete. And it'll say if you really want to delete the selected file, you can press yes. Once you do that, then you come back to the website. You should be able to see your website again and not have your site on the internal area. So, moral of the story is to make sure that you keep track of the plugins and the themes that you are installing. Okay? Thank you.